Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about intervals of increase and decrease. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this critical thinking question. Give an example where functions f and g are increasing on the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, but where f minus g is decreasing. Okay, let's first start with two functions uh, that are increasing on our interval. And again, there's going to be many answers here. I'm just going to show you a simple one. So let's say example, let's say, let's say f, our function f is equal to just x. That is increasing on the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. What about g? Let's say g is equal to 2x. Again, this interval is increasing from negative infinity to positive infinity. But what happens when we have f minus g? f minus g is equal to x minus 2x. Simplify that, f minus g, x minus 2x is a negative x. Well, negative x, is that decreasing on that same interval? Yes. Our um, f minus g would count to be negative x is decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, Two examples of functions here that satisfy this critical thinking question where functions f and g are increasing on our interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, but are decreasing where f minus g is decreasing, or <laughs> decreasing where there's f minus g, is an example, again, it could be many, but here's just one of them, f is equal to x and g is equal to 2x. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.